Well, in tonight's cover story, WGN's Allison Payne has Patrick in Tutu's story. Hi, Allison. Jackie and Bob call it a cross-continent assist, spearheaded by the woman who raised his airness. It all started in 1993 when the Jordan Foundation took the trip of a lifetime to Africa. Well, I've never seen him play basketball, so that's, <laughs> that's, that's totally... Uh, it's totally off the, uh, the mm -hmm. Actually, people kind of tell me at the restaurant that I look like you. <laughs> so, uh, two men, yeah. two different worlds. <laughs> brought together by a woman they both call mom. You need to have an opportunity to grow and to be able to help his tribe. Welcome to Patrick and Tutu's homeland, Kenya, on the eastern coast of Africa. There are 49 tribes here. Patrick comes from one of the smallest, called the Maasai tribe, and his father is the chief. The Maasais are nomads who move depending on the season. They are thousands of miles away from Chicago. But even here, they know who Michael Jordan is. People when they see, they are like, oh, he's from my tribe, he's from my tribe, and all those kind of things. So we talk a lot, you know, it's cool. Yeah. All right, every tribe wants to claim. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> As a junior chief, Patrick was destined to follow tribal traditions and herd his father's cows. But all that changed when Michael Jordan's mom stepped into his life and offered him the opportunity to get an education in the United yeah. States. Actually, the tribe, they, they didn't go to school, most of them. And uh, I am one of the students now, I mean, one of the young men who are always graduating in college. They don't have a lot of graduate from college. Michael tells me he knows charity begins at home, but he feels strongly about spreading it around the world. We've done it in other scenarios with other scholarshipies in, in, in the past, but I think this is truly an opportunity for us to show abroad what we have done you know, from the Michael Jordan Foundation. And the Jordans use their corporate connections to help finance Patrick's education. It really is a pleasure to see what he has accomplished because I think this is a product that has long stood for inspiration, inspiring people to do what they can do, the best they can do it. And clearly we've got an example here. Finally, after years of hard work, it is graduation day at Roosevelt University. His second mom couldn't be more proud. He worked hard and he applied himself, so I know he's kind of too bad his country that he will make a difference going to america is different i mean well, how are you going to make it there you know life is different you don't even you're not with your family so you know people are kind of scared but i took that initiative and say hey i'll, I'll try you know i was not afraid to take the, the chance what would you like to see for him in the future i think it's important for him to to extend to others within his country to let them know that it's, don't be afraid to take a challenge and turn it into something positive and Patrick's sister even flew in from Kenya to see him graduate today. So, what's next for him? Well, he says he plans to get his MBA. And Bob and Jackie, we certainly wish him the best of luck.